Hello all, we got a pretty cool question to tackle today, so let's get this thing started. Our statement reads, at the interface between one linear dielectric and another, the electric field lines bend. Show that tangent of theta 2 divided by tangent of theta 1 is equal to epsilon 2 divided by epsilon 1, assuming there is no free charge at the boundary. A comment on this. This is reminiscent of Snell's law in optics. Would a convex lens of dielectric material tend to focus or defocus the electric field? A quick review of the diagram. We see on the upper half of the plane, we have a field E1 incident on the plane at angle theta 1, and it has a permittivity epsilon 1. And then on the back side of the plane, we have E2 at an angle emergent of theta 2 of di or permittivity epsilon 2. So to tackle this, we need to go back to some of the uh, continuity equations. We know that here the parallel component of the electric field is continuous. So EX1 is equal to EX2. D, in the perpendicular case, is continuous. Again, assume that there's no uh, charge there, so sigma f equals zero. Therefore, d1 equal d2. Putting that in terms of e1 and e2, um, epsilon 1 ey1 is equal to epsilon 2 ey2. Thus, we can set up this ratio where we know that tangent is equal to ex divided by ey, and we set them up for the respective cases. Uh, note that whenever we have fractions in a fraction, we have to multiply the reciprocal if it's in the denominator. So that's why we have uh, EY1 over EY2 in the third part of the equality. Now that we have the Y components there, we can substitute in from the electric displacement uh, after we solve for it. So we take the epsilon 1 and kick it to the other side, and uh, we see that the uh, EY2 components cancel one another, leaving us with epsilon 2 divided by epsilon 1, which indeed verifies the result, or proves it. Um, so for the comet case, if 1 is air and 2 is a dielectric, then the ratio of tangents is equal to epsilon 2 over epsilon naught, since it's air, uh, and that ratio would be greater than 1 and the field lines bend away from the normal. This is the opposite of light rays, so a convex lens would defocus the field lines. 